Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. Gotcha. I just got this, uh, well, it's not the biggest, but it's a beautiful little silver fish on this, uh, the Silver Doctor inspired fly, and yeah, that was just a dream come true. So, yeah. Thank you, little friend. I'm gonna release you back to where you came from, hence where you came from. <laughs> Hello there everyone. Today I'm gonna do a Silver Doctor variant. Uh, this one, very nice little looking fly. Uh, great, great salmon fly. First of all, I'm gonna take my future fly tube and then I'm just gonna add a bit of heat here to uh, to make uh, this small uh, small bump here. Where uh, where I want my uh, my fly tying to stop, then I'm gonna put it on my my tube my my needle here. This is a pot needle. Um, I like the the pot needle very much. It's actually better than the the future fly one. It's it's more strong. It's more durable, and it simply works better. So I'm just gonna apply a bit of th tying thread along down here. So I'm gonna cut this off, and then I'm gonna build the body. And for the body of this fly, I'm gonna use mylar. Uh, this is a uh, mylar cord, which is uh, a very very easy way to make a, a nice uh, a nice silver body. Uh, simply take a, take a piece of this and and you just pull out the the center of this like so, and uh, over the tube, make one two th three uh, turns of tying thread before you clamp down, like so. And then all these strands, you could leave them there, but I think they're a bit annoying. So I'm just going to cut those away. This is actually a fly made by uh, one of well, one of the best fly tires I have seen in 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 a long, long time. His uh, his name is Nils, Nils Falmer, and if you haven't uh, haven't seen him, then uh, find him on uh, Facebook and on uh, on Instagram. His flies is just out of this world. He is a true true master of his uh, of of, uh, of fly tying, and I am a huge huge fan. So if if you by any chance happen to watch this Nils, then uh, this is a shout out to you because you are doing a tremendously awesome job. Also catching a lot of nice fish, and I really, really hope to come and fish with you one day. But, but uh, I'm, I must say, I'm, I'm truly, I'm in awe at the, at, at the level of uh, the level of of, uh, of expertise you apply to to any fly. I see you, I see you post. So, so a shout out to you because, well, you are <laughs> you are truly, truly great tire and fisherman. So I make a small butt from. Uh, from uh, from dubbing, any dubbing will do. I use seals fur here, and just a small uh, whip finish, like so. This is simply just well, to give it kind of like a bit butt if uh, not a big butt effect, but but a small butt effect you could say. And then also to uh, to to cover up where I tied down the other thing. This is not going to be a large fly, so I'm going to tie this. Uh, fasten my thread up here, and the crucial thing about making uh, making beautiful salmon flies is uh, to not apply too much tying thread. Simply do not use too much thread, because if you use too much thread, you will um, you will you will make flies that are very very very. Uh, in Danish, you s we would s we would call them smart because they have so big a head. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you, I think you get get what I'm saying. Uh, limit the amount of thread you're using and that's also why it's important that you use a strong thread because if you use a strong strong tying thread you can you can limit the uh, the usage of, uh, of of thread so I'm gonna cut these off as I said this is a silver doctor variant uh, the silver doctor is is a classic uh, salmon fly that is absolutely absolutely uh, astounding to look at and this is simply well um, a modern version of that. I'm gonna be. Uh, I have been using this a bit, and uh, and I really really like how it looks in the water. I've not caught any fish on this yet, but uh, I know others who have, um, and uh, and I'm gonna be using this a lot on Iceland. So so by the time I release this video, I hope you will. Uh, there will be a, a lot of uh, a lot of action. You will see the fly in the water, and 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 you will see some salmon that I caught on this. So, uh, so <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Well, now we're ready to go, and as you can see, I've not used too much uh, too much tying thread. So next up, we're gonna make a, a wing uh, composed of three different colors of uh, of uh, of hair, and uh, and. Uh, when you do something like that, uh, it's it's very very crucial, very very important that you do not use too much materials. I know this sound probably sound a bit counterproductive since I'm in the business of, business of selling fly tying materials, but it is very very crucial that you that you limit the amount of materials because otherwise this will simply look too bulky and and not not look uh, as good in the water as it, as it could be. So first off, I'm going to take a, a bit of yellow hair, and what I've done is, is I simply I simply remove some of the longest hairs here, and I also remove some of the the woolly parts down below here, and then I tie this down. And this is not going to be very long because I want this this wing to taper, um, and to do that, I'm I'm tying uh, because I'm tying three three different wings in. I'm going to have the first one to be not very long, then the the second one a bit longer, and then the 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 last one the longest. So simply clamp down on it like that and uh, and I use the the future flight thread here because that's really really strong and uh, and durable and very very good so as you can see I only took two turns of tying thread here to actually uh, accomplish this tying this down and I'm gonna take the next color it's red and again I take a, a bit larger bundle than what I need and I simply simply prepare the wing by taking out all the unwanted hairs here, like so. And this is this is still uh, way too big. I'm gonna take out uh, some of the woolly part. It's still too big. So as you can see, this is not very big, but it's more than enough for for uh, for the salmon. Last year I fished on cola, and I I had tied it on you know two boxes full of stuff and I thought oh this is gonna be the bomb I had all the all the right flies I've heard of should be great uh, from back home except for one because um, a lot of the a lot of the times up there they, they told me that something a fly called the the golden killer would be very good but I thought that fly looked completely completely ridiculous because it was a only a golden shank a golden hook with uh, with 14 hairs of bucktail seven in black and Seven in yellow, and then some, uh, and then jungle cook, and one strand of flesh. And I thought that looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm not going to tie many of those because I'm not going to use something like that because it's 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 well, basically it's too small. I thought. So I got up to cola and fished a lot, and and uh, I didn't have any luck. Uh, I'm gonna prepare the the blue wing uh, the same way as I did the other two, and then uh, on the on the third day, I was out fishing with the guide, and he gave me a fly. And I, and I looked at the fly and I said, oh, well, my flies haven't worked, so I'm going to try this. And it was the golden killer. And then I fished for about 10 minutes, and then he pointed to a spot and said, put your fly there. And so I did. And then I hooked the big salmon. So <laughs> um, if you want to uh, watch uh, that full story, because that story is actually very good. It's called uh, um, On Salmon and Becoming and How to and, and Becoming a Labrador, which is uh, it's a fairly, fairly nice video. And if you haven't seen that, I can I, I will I will recommend that you do that, because uh, I think the story there is, is something that uh, that you uh, well, I could at least learn a lot from that um, and, and did from that experience. As you can see, that was a bit too long, I think. So I'm going to. Kind of shortened it a bit, not much, but a bit. And then again, before I really, really clamp down, I'm sure that I have that I have a tying thread all the way around, and then simply apply some pressure. And as you can see, despite having some very, very small wings, then this wing actually looks rather big now. But uh, the thing about uh, about these these fox hair, this is marble fox, but uh, polar, uh, but arctic fox will be the same. Is they will in in strong current, they will really, really, um, they will uh, they will become very, very less bulky. Uh, because of, of currents and stuff like that. So so basically that's it for now for the wings. So what I'm gonna do is is a, is a neat trick. In order to have um, to to actually be able to have, I'm gonna take one uh, one turn back and then I'm gonna apply some uh, some super glue. And I'm gonna apply the super glue to my thread. So as you can see, the brush here on the on the sabag really works well for for applying some glue to uh, to the tying thread here. Um, and that helps me a lot because that will decrease the number of turns I will have to make in order for these wings to stay completely where I want, where where I put them. 
like so. Um, and uh, and the next thing is I'm going to take a scalpel. If you don't have a scalpel, then I urge you, urge you to get one because uh, they're very, very good at, at cutting songer strips, first of all, but they're also very, very good at cutting off leftover stuff on salmon flies. So I simply take this and I place it, not on top of the thread as it might appear, but just in front of the thread. Um, and I simply, simply just move it back and forth like this to cut off all the hairs. And as you can see, what this does is it actually minimizing minimizes the head of the fly by a huge, huge, huge amount. Because no matter how cool a scissor you have, if you have even have the Chemco, uh, which is, is probably the deadliest and mo most uh, best scissor in the world, the Future Fly scissor is also a great, you cannot get as close as you can with a scalpel. But it's important that you are um, you're fairly confident about uh, what you have done so far before you apply the uh, uh, apply the scalpel. And that's also why I did the, the super glue because um, if you have not uh, done this correctly, then you will lose a wing, <laughs> and then you'll have to to start over. So I'm just gonna apply a bit, bit more super glue here, very, very little, like so. And if if there is too much, simply take something, uh, some materials you have left over from uh, from uh, from this is this is part of the, uh, the 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 filling of of the mylar, and I simply take this to to remove. Some of the uh, some of the leftover um, leftover super glue because the leftover super glue will harden it. When it hardens, it will fill up some space and and um, and can give your fly a bit a too bulky a look. So uh, so so the trick here the, uh, to to get your flies to look uh, absolutely uh, astonishing and and good is simply to uh, to. Uh, to be careful of how much thread you apply, but also also be uh, be careful with uh, with the super glue and stuff like that. Then I'm gonna take a, a gray hackle. Uh, this is uh, from a soft patch, um, but uh, but from a, a Mitch a Mitch, uh, Mitch hackle back will 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 do nicely as well. And then I simply tie down this. I'm gonna tie this down in the, in the tip. So the, 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 the upper side of, of the feather is, is in towards me because when I turn it then it will it will uh, it will be where I want it to, like so. Cutting that away. And then I simply turn my hackle. As I said, this is not gonna be a very, very bulky fly, so I'm not gonna use much hackle. Gonna, I'm gonna try to do it a bit scarce, a bit sc use it with with care. So about three or four turns. If if you want, you can strip one side off if you think it's too much. If if you want a smaller fly, strip one of the sides of the hackles off, and then of course you can you can apply more more turns if if you like to do that, like so. And again, as you can see, I'm not using I'm not using many turns of my tying thread like that just gonna force some of this bit down like that and now it's time to uh, to apply some of the the cool looking stuff to this fly um, this fly is, uh, you could say, it would probably work very, very fine as it is now. But uh, but but uh, we're doing this uh, in homage to the salmon, and uh, and because it's it's fun to tie, it's it's fun to tie something that that looks good. So um, so in order to do that, I'm gonna apply some uh, some extras now. First, I'm gonna take a, a grizzly feather and tie this down, so it's gonna be parallel to well ideally parallel to the red part of the wing using two turns of tying thread as you can see and that adds a lot of contrast and it really really looks good I have these feathers because a full saddle is, 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 is a bit expensive so I have uh, I have taken the time to actually uh, take some of these saddles and then uh, then simply rip them apart and and only select uh, the the most usable feathers and put them into small bags um, for your convenience. So you can buy you can buy a small package of of, uh, of these hackles uh, without having to buy the, the the entire the entire saddle. Um, 
what you want to do when when you tie this is is in order to make this uh, make this easier to tie down then then tie simply on top of some of the of, of some of the fibers of on some of the the heckle the heckle fibers here because that will that will help you if you tie only on uh, only on uh, if you tie only on uh, on on the stump here, it will it, you will have a hard time actually getting uh, getting the feather to 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 be where where you want it. Oh, this feather is not this was too broad, so I'm gonna take uh, another one that is not that broad, a slimmer slimmer feather. That's uh, not good either. Maybe this one this one will do. You know the proportions of this fly is, is important when you're when you're when you're actually um, when you're actually building flies like this. The proportions is is important, and of course it's important that that both the feathers here align and uh, and have the same length. So like that. Okay, first part. So as you can see, here is one of the packages I was talking about, where I've. I've I've hand selected uh, the feathers. I have them for pike. So of course, uh, for for pike, it's it's different features than from uh, what what you wanted for let's say uh, let's say flies like of, of this sort or or uh, flat wing flies, which is also uh, the the type of flies that that these feathers are used for. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another another hackle here, um, a kingfisher blue one. And I'm just gonna sort a bit out here to look at these. And as you can see, these are fairly long, so you can actually use the same feather for several flies. And I'm gonna take one that has the correct, the the, the right curve, um, uh, for 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 each side. I wanted to, I wanted to to gently uh, follow the follow the outline of of the the king the the kingfisher blue. Oh, this one is good for for my side. Let me just see. That one is good for your side, like so. And again, I take this and I put it on top here, so it follows the wing. Like that. Oh, it got a bit twisted there, not completely correct. <laughs> I'm looking so much forward to having to hopefully catch uh, some nice nice salmon on this. Ah, this is teasing. <laughs> Like that. There it was, perfect, perfectly aligned. And then the same as, and as you can see, I have not used uh, that much uh, tying thread again. I've only used about uh, two turns to uh, to uh, to apply this feather. Gonna do the same on the other side. Like so. I'm leaving anything here. I'm gonna cut these all this off uh, later on. But then it's off to uh, to get the jungle cock. And 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 when you when you select your your jungle cock from uh, from your cape, um, if you buy the the pro stuff, it's it's easy because all of them are, are alike. It's very important that you pick a feather from each side of the jungle cock uh, to get the the correct uh, the correct uh, the correct. Um, oh no. It was the super glue. Uh, <laughs> um, you, you you get the correct um, natural curve of the fiber incorporated to your fly. As you can see, this this slightly 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 shifts to one side, and that's why I need to add this on on my side because then then the natural curve of of this this feather will 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 be dynamic and and look uh, right on uh, on my side. Like so, and then I'm gonna do it on uh, on the other side as well. I'm gonna pick one from the other side here. That one is a beautiful feather. Like that. 
Ah, uh, crap, I just wrecked my junk cock while trying to pull off the, the smaller part. That was too bad, that was a nice looking feather. There is one, will do as well. So, the devil is in the detail for tying beautiful salmon flies. Simply uh, take your time and, and try, to, try, to, uh, try to use as little tying thread as possible. And also, as you can see again, I'm tying on top of very, very few of the uh, very, very few of, of the hackle fibers here, like so. We are. Like that. <laughs> I like that. Um, and then again, uh, in order to uh, to keep this where I want it to be, I simply just uh, take a small amount of super glue here. Apply it to the tank third as close, as close to uh, to where the stuff is as I dare, and then simply like that, like that. Yeah, good. The last thing we we, we need is is a hackle. And uh, it's, it's a false hackle. And uh, for this, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use uh, Guinea fowl. Um, and Guinea fowl is is, is 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 very good because it has uh, it, it's it's very beautiful. The the colors here, the, the kingfisher blue, is very beautiful. And and it has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, the speckled colors here. looks looks awesome. So I'm gonna take my Guinea fowl and then I'm gonna cut out the tip of it. Like so. Then I'm gonna strip off all the stuff I don't need. So I have a, a guinea fowl feather here that is only a part of the feather, about a centimeter long, because I'm gonna make a false hackle. I'm gonna turn this upside down, and then I'm gonna tie this down about there using two loose turns, and then I pull the hackle stem in order to make a false hackle then I distribute the I pull it until I think that it's it's important to take big uh, big guinea fowl feather and then I pull it until it has it is distributed the way I want like so I'm actually gonna take a bit a turn a turn of thread and go back like that a bit more in this uh, this is not co working according to my plan here like so This can be a bit tricky, as you can see. Hmm. Why is this not the working the way I want it to? Like so. <laughs> this is teasing me a bit. Maybe I should take another feather. I probably shouldn't. It should not be the feather that is the matter, that is the problem here. It's probably just my meager talent messing with me. Like so. And as you can see now, I have a false hackle underneath here. Then I'm gonna cut everything off I've tied down. Again, you can use the uh, 
you can use the scalpel if you're fairly certain that everything is in order. And a good way to see if everything is in order is to take uh, take the test with uh, because I'm going to apply a small cone head in order to make my head completely uh, completely uniform and and nice looking. So I'm going to take one of these and simply see will it be there. And as you can see now, I'm missing quite a bit. So this means that I need to cut off stuff in order to to get this to work here. because my head is now too long and that's a bit annoying I'm actually gonna redo this because I'm not satisfied with this the way this look now and then I'm gonna cut off some of these because probably that's my my main issue here is, is I have a bit too much stuff that has not been cut off correctly and is in the way so like that and then I'm gonna take a new feather. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry for, about about that, but you know, um, it has to be when you've done so much when when you put so much effort into a fly like this, you 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 want your fly to actually to look like you to to look the way it's supposed to, uh, because because well, you've taken quite a bit deal of care to actually apply some craftsmanship and stuff like that and uh, and well I, it's probably not for practical use it's probably not the most important in the world that every thing is is placed exactly in the right spot and stuff like that but you know um, I take pride in uh, in in building stuff that is well basically that is is beautiful and and is uh, is is nice looking and according to the old uh, to, to the old way of thinking, which is kind of like the premise and the base of uh, uh, and the base for for, for these uh, these flies from from old times, is that um, the king the, the the king of fish is salmon. So that's why they they co they, they incorporated all these crazy crazy materials uh, for 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 the, the the classic salmon flies because well the, the the salmon is the king of of fish and uh, you know nothing is too good. For for the king, so you should uh, you should take care and compose your flies well, because well, otherwise the king would not approve. So, like that, this was way better. Gonna cut everything off, and then I'm gonna take a look, take a test again with my, and as you can see, now it fits completely perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some super glue and make uh, one small, uh, make uh, f uh, one or two nuts uh, because uh, you don't you don't need to take you you don't need to make three or five or six uh, with finish for this and and when you apply this super glue be sure to to actually support the the brush here or or apply it to, to dubbing needle or something like that um, because uh, <laughs> well you need to have a steady hand otherwise you can you can glue your hands to the fly or the wing completely in the wrong direction and stuff like that so so take a little care when you apply the super glue here like that pulling everything tight cutting off my thread and then simply pushing my cone head to where it's supposed to be. Oh, I want the jungle cock to be a bit more upward. And that's how it's supposed to look. A small, uh, a small, nice, not easy, but but beautiful, beautiful and wonderful uh, silver doctor variant. And if you have, if you have done this correctly, this fly will also be very, very strong because you've applied some super glue on various, uh, various places here, and um, and also. Um, also, uh, everything is covered. All the all the, 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 the thread is covered by the cone head, um, and uh, and uh, I must say I really enjoy these uh, tube flies because uh, a lot of the times when you're fishing on streams and stuff like that, there's a lot of lot of rocks and 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 stuff like that. And when when uh, when when uh, when uh, when you use hooked flies, um, you often encounter the problem of having uh, having. Uh, 
having the hook bent or or wrecked or 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 destroyed by um, by by rocks and uh, if if and then the flu the fly is, is ruined but uh, you don't have that problem with uh, with the tube flies here you simply just remove the hook and your fly is intact you don't have to you don't have to to uh, to uh, to to take another fly and discard a perfectly good piece of art you've spent a lot of time creating a lot of time thinking about you simply just replace the hook and you and you're good to go last thing you you want to do here is of course to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that uh, already uh, because that would make me very very happy and you will get uh, instant a notification whenever I, I post something here on YouTube um, check out my web shop as well for for a full uh, for a full uh, for a full material kit for for this fly but also uh, otherwise all you have to do is simply to cut off the tube here out in front here and then take your lighter and simply gently hold it up to here so so the the tubing here folds back and your fly is ready to uh, take it and put it back on the needle the other way around so you, you can also see that that my fly is actually also pretty good looking on, on the other side <laughs> and uh, well you're ready to uh, to go and this fish is well with a triple or a double or a single hook um, depending on, on circumstances and and your preferred ref uh, your, 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 your preferences and so there you have it a small silver doctor variant a fly I really really enjoy tying and uh, and enjoy seeing swimming Thank you for tuning in.